Hi, in this video I'll be introducing electric fields and Coulomb's law. When you rub a balloon against a cloth, it becomes statically charged, but what does this mean? Rubbing the balloon with the cloth transfers electrons from the cloth to the balloon. This leaves the balloon with a negative charge and the cloth with a positive charge. Both materials are electrically charged and have electric fields around them. They exert an electrostatic force on each other and on every other charged particle in the universe. Let's consider a couple of point charges, that is charges that have no physical size. These two charges will exert a force on each other. If they are both negative or both positive, they will repel each other. If one is positive and the other negative, the force between them will be attractive. What factors affect the magnitude of this force? If we increase the magnitude of either or both charges, we will cause a larger force between them. But if we increase the distance between the charges, we will cause the force to get smaller. And this is an inverse square relationship. The force decreases with the square of the separation. This is known as Coulomb's law. The electrostatic force between two charges is proportional to the product of their charges and inversely proportional to the square of their separation. Or F equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 multiplied by Q1 times Q2 divided by R squared where Q1 and Q2 are respectively the magnitudes of the two point charges in coulombs and R is their separation in metres. The first part of the equation can effectively be treated as one constant. In fact some exam boards replace it all with a simple K. The epsilon zero is the permittivity of free space and represents how easy it is for an electric field to propagate through a vacuum. Coulomb's law and the associated equation may seem familiar to you it looks very similar to Newton's law of gravitation. But while Newton's law deals with the relationship between masses in a gravitational field, Coulomb's law represents a very similar relationship between charges in an electric field. Let's end with an example. Two protons in a nucleus have a separation of approximately 10 to the minus 15 meters. Calculate one, the electrostatic force acting between them, including the direction, and two, the gravitational force acting between them, including the direction. So to start with, we're going to use Coulomb's law to determine the electrostatic force acting between them. So here both Q1 and Q2 are equal to the charge of, an, of a proton, which is 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the minus 19 joules. And the separation R is equal to 1 times 10 to the power of minus 15 meters. The only other unknown from our Coulomb's law equation, which you'll remember is F equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 multiplied by Q1 Q2 over R squared, is this value epsilon 0. That's a constant that can be found on your data sheet. Epsilon 0 has a value of 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12 meters to the minus 3 kilograms to the minus one amps squared. But don't worry about this ridiculous unit, it's just a consequence of the various values that feed into the equation. So let's plug those values into our, into our formula to find the electrostatic force. Let's call that Fe. So one over four pi multiplied by 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12 multiplied by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 divided by r squared. Don't forget to square the separation. 1 times 10 to the minus 15 squared and this gives us a value of 230 newtons. And this is repulsive because both charges are positive. For part two we're going to use Newton's law of gravitation. We know that m1 equals m2 which is equal to the mass of a proton, which is 1.67 multiplied by 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. The separation is still 1 times 10 to the minus 15 meters, and the gravitational constant, big G, is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 newton meters squared kilograms to the minus 2. Again, don't worry about the weird unit. So we can substitute those into our equation F equals big G m1 m2 over r squared 
and this gives us a value of 1.86 times 10 to the power minus 34 newtons and the gravitational force is always attractive.